Good morning, folks. Today we're checking out interesting stories on space weather impact to Earth, confirmation of the geomagnetic maximum of the sunspot cycle, and an excellent paper on solar forcing. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, much quieter day up there, few flares, nothing major. Nothing like what's been happening on the far side of the sun facing away from Earth. We did take a solar wind event and some geomagnetic effects, but they have remained minor. When we look at the solar wind, we find that minor plasma pressure intensification following a phi angle flip appears to be the interaction with the heliospheric current sheet and then a coupling of the solar wind with Earth's magnetic field that led to a very brief and low-level geomagnetic storm condition overnight. What we're watching today is the sunspots for more eruptive activity. Several notable active regions, magnetic complexity is modest at best, will be monitoring for amplified activity as we enter the weekend. First article today describes a newly discovered energetic process in the upper atmosphere. Turns out that key electromagnetic processes work protons as well as electrons downward into the atmosphere, something that was not expected. Of course, this impacts solar forcing of the atmosphere as well, so you can bank on climate models ignoring it. Up next, confirmation that geomagnetic maximum trails sunspot maximum. As we've said before, the largest and most frequent geomagnetic storm conditions happen in the declining phase of the sunspot cycle, so even with about a year left of sunspot maximum, we'll have about two years more of geomagnetic storm risk from the sun. Last but not least, excellent paper on solar forcing of extreme temperatures. The study found that days with high temperature humidity index were controlled by solar activity, and this one will be integrated into climate models to help reveal the truth. Just kidding, they'll ignore this too, like they do with everything from the sun. Lastly, there are only three days left to get in on our documentary on the Earth disaster cycle. We have hit our goal, but are still hoping to get enough funding to create all the most important models, and we'll need to make those to get you the best visualizations. Put your mark on history and claim your reward at our Kickstarter today. Time definitely running out. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.